All of the best apps start with a square squarely in the middle of the screen. But to turn this abstract idea into something more real, we need to think outside the box. If you look at a real physical box, the only way you're able to see it is with some light, and that light casts a shadow. What if we want our abstract boxes to have a real shadow, just like a real box, so that our users have a mental model for what the things in your app are? Well, that's what physical model is for. Just take whatever widget you're working with, wrap it inside of a physical model, and give it a color. But wait, there's still no shadow? By default, physical model's elevation is zero, so we need to pick that box up to be able to see the shadow. But unlike the real world, we have additional options for our physical model created shadows, like its color. You can also change the roundness of the shadow's corners or simply update what shape it takes. But while fiddling around with shadow and shadow colors, you might be wondering why changing the color parameter doesn't do anything. What if you try changing the opacity of the box? What's revealed underneath the blue box? Physical model doesn't cause the child widget to cast a shadow, but rather creates a layer underneath it that represents the object casting a shadow. And in fact, you could just leave the child off, but then this model doesn't take up any space, and so there's no shadow. Physical model is super useful when you have ideas for custom shadow effects. It's also used under the hood in widgets like Material to build, well, material shadows. For more on physical model and all the other widgets, head on over to flutter.dev.